I'm so excited to show you an amazing tool called BlendSpace. And BlendSpace is so wonderful for a multitude of reasons. It is free, it's free for students, it's also free for teachers. Um, it is very simple to use. They have tons of teacher resources up here at the top for you to get assistance and lesson ideas. But it's also so easy and so quick to use. This homepage says create lessons in five minutes. And honestly, I think five minutes would be the maximum you would need. I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is. The first thing that you're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to log in. Once you've logged in, it's going to take you to your dashboard. This is going to show you all the lessons here that you've created. It's also going to show you featured lessons down here at the bottom. Um, over to the left, you can also see your lessons tab. You can view classes. Um, you can also go to your gallery and search for lessons that other teachers have created. They've made it so easy for you. They've separated it here within content areas. Or you can come up here and search lessons uh, within a more specific content word. So in order to explain to you what blend space is, it's much easier if I do it showing a featured lesson. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into this photosynthesis featured lesson. And you're going to see it puts the title up here at the top. What blend space does is it compiles a lot of electronic and media resources together within one lesson. There's a lot of different ways your students can access the information. You'll see that each resource has a logo, so it's going to indicate whether it's a video, an image, a document. You'll see a chain link logo in a minute for websites as well. So students can click on the resource. They can come down here and play this YouTube video. It's also amazing you'll see the comments over here on the right. So students can post questions or comment on insightful information that they noticed during the video. They can also like it as they like it or not a fan. And then they can exit out of it and they can go to a different resource that's not necessarily the next one in order. So that's the first way they can access information. The second way, if you want them to go through your resources one by one in chronological order, then what you'll do, you'll see this arrow over here to the right. When students are done viewing that video, they'll click the arrow and they can navigate forward and backwards throughout all of these resources. So that's what Blend Space does. I can see this used in a multitude of ways. I can see it being used as compiling a lesson for your students to go through step by step. I can also see it as being a great way to host a lot of tutorial videos on a particular topic and putting that on your website. So if students need to find tutorials on solving linear equations, then you can have a blend space lesson on linear equation tutorials. Students can click on that link on your website and it can bring them here to all the different video tutorials that you've compiled for that. Another neat way I think it could be used is if you're going to be presenting a lesson to your class and you're going to be using a multitude of resources for that lesson, this is a great way to put those all in one place. So you're not having to go into YouTube and finding this video, then exiting out of YouTube and pulling up this image, then exiting out of the image and going and finding this PDF document to show. And that doing it that way loses a lot of instructional time. So if you use a service like BlendSpace and you put all the resources together, it's going to make your transitions from instructional resource one to the next very seamless, and you're going to save a lot of instructional time that way. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create one of these. I'm going to go back to my home button, and I'm going to click on new lesson. It's going to ask me what my canvas is about. I'm going to put the Civil War. And from here, it's going to give you your different boxes. I can drop a resource down, I can add text, or I can add a quiz. So I'm going to add text. This is, I'm going to make this text really big because I'm just using this text box at this moment um, as a title box in a sense. You could have made it smaller to where students could click on it and they could read all the information there together. Now the next way you can do, you can come over here to the right and there's a resources pane where you can search for a lot of different resources. And you'll see that it has the little logo over here to the right as well. The first one is YouTube. So I'm going to search for Civil War within YouTube. If you don't necessarily know the video you're looking for, you can click on the preview. 
and watch the video to make sure it is appropriate for the lesson that you're going to be demonstrating that day. Okay, we're gonna say we like that video. So if we like it, we're just gonna grab it and drag it over. You can also do Google Images as well. Same thing, you can preview if that's the one that you want, then you can drag it over. It's also gonna let you do open ed searches, Flickr images, edu creations, guru. You can put in your own website. And I'll tell you what I love about that. I'm gonna pull this Wikipedia page real quick. I'm gonna copy the URL. I'm gonna come back over to Blend Space and I'm gonna paste my URL in this website box. What it does is it's gonna search that website. It's gonna give you the web link here, but you'll also see it's gonna list all the different images down here at the bottom as well. So if you wanted to use one of these as an image, you could. And then if you wanted to drag over the actual website link, you could do that as well. You can upload files that you have onto your computer, but they've even taken it a step further and made it so easy. If you use Dropbox or Google Drive, you can add your accounts to those, and if your files are in those accounts, you can add them over there just as easy. It also has a really neat bookmarklet tool here as well um, to make it even easier for you adding websites on here. You're not only limited to these six rows here or the six boxes it shows. If you would like more rows, you just click on more rows at the bottom. You can do as many as you want. Now, it auto saves for you, which is phenomenal. Every step that I've done, it saved it for me. So if my website crashes, I can pull it back up and I haven't lost anything. You can change your templates, themes. You can play it from the beginning. You can also print it, which would be really handy if you have a lot of resources that are text-based or image-based. If you have a student absent, you can go ahead and print it out and give, the, give that to them. When you're ready to share this and have students access it, you're gonna click on the share link up here at the top. It's gonna to give you the lesson link here. It also gives you a lot of different ways to share down here at the bottom as well. You can change the privacy of your lesson to where you can change who gets to view it um, or who can copy resources from your lesson. And if you wanna upgrade from the free account and pay a little bit of money, um, you can also have the option to be able to collaborate with other people on your lessons. So I'm gonna show you the last thing that's so wonderful about Blend Space. I'm gonna sign out of this because I wanna show you, I copied that website link from the share button before. I wanna show you that your students can access that, this without having to log in. So I'm gonna to go to my Blend Space. This is what I have created. Students can still access the content just like they did before. The only thing, if you didn't notice, right over here to the right, you saw the comments down there before. If students are not signed in, they cannot view or add comments without signing in. So that's the only thing um, that they'll need to be able to sign in for. And other than that, that is Blend Space. Very, very simple to use, great tool to use with your students. It's gonna save you a ton of time.